Ole Miss making his fifth start of the season, his first though since April 5th. Keith, you've seen a lot of Josh Mallets this year. What can we expect out of him here today? Yeah, power right-hander, going to throw that fastball in the low 90s. When he's able to locate the fastball, he pitches aggressively in the zone, has a chance to have some success. To be a key member of that bullpen, and there's a swing and a miss and a strikeout. First one of the afternoon for Mallets. Yeah, I mean, that's slugging percentage, which leads the team. But he looks at strike three there. And Mallets with a couple Ks here in the top of the first. His 14th appearance of the year, his second start. What are you looking for out of Walner here today? Well, he's not going to blow you away with the fastball. Going to be mid-80s, maybe, maybe a little bit better than that. But So he's going to have to get ahead in the count. Needs to be able to mix his pitches. Turn heads. And speaking of freshmen turning heads, Gonzalez goes the other way. And the Rebels get a base hit to start off things in the bottom of the first. One on this level. And he's done it again. Make it 41 straight games that he's reached. He's got extra bases. Mike Clement, the third base coach, is asking for Gonzalez to hold at third. And Graham has a two-bagger, his 11th of the season. Some of the first. And Dunhurst swings and misses. Couldn't catch up to that one. And there's two outs. Hussein will take care of Bench, and Walner gets out of a jam. Two runners in scoring position with one out. Of course, my partner, no stranger to that ballpark when he was the head coach at Arkansas State. Mallets has now struck out three straight. Posey's name on it. You're getting it done. Speaking of getting it done, how about Josh Mallets? That's four Ks in a row. But Chris sitting there nine and nine in the conference this year. Swing and a miss. That one gets past Dunhurst. So Mallets with three strikeouts in the inning, but the inning is still alive. Strike three called. And how about Mallets? Keith, not very often you get four Ks in an inning. It's his presence back. Just being able to travel, get any at bats at all, has helped this Ole Miss team. Hussein makes the backhanded play, but no chance getting Leatherwood. And Hayden Leatherwood gets the infield single. Here's Baker, and he continues his hot hitting ways. And the Rebels have back to back base knocks here in the bottom of the second. Chopper right side. This could be tough, and he'll beat it out. There goes the runners, and Chatnier blisters one past Lions. That's going to score Leatherwood and Baker, and they're going to ask Gonzalez to score as well, and there will not be a throw. The 12th double of the year for Chatnier, and Graham rips a base hit to right. Clement is asking Chatnier to score, and so Graham delivers with a two-out single, and it's 4-0 Ole Miss. Single, the three-run double by Chatnier, and there goes Graham as Dunhurst lifts one to left. And that will take care of the Rebels. I mean, that, that's for everybody. There's a liner to left down in the corner. Extra bases for Miguel Soto. And the first hit of the afternoon for the Trojans. To the right side, Chatnier can't quite corral it. And Soto will try to score, and he will. And there's a smash to left by Lyons. A beautiful bunt. Going to be a tough play for Bench, and he's safe. And another strikeout. Good pitch there by Austin Miller against Texas A&M. There's strike three called E.H. He's the guy that Little Rock wants up here at the plate. And he lifts the fly ball to right. Leatherwood has it tracked. And Austin Miller, thumbs up, partner. Yeah, beat a good team. And Smallwood just struck out a Good hitter in McCants. Gets himself out of the inning after that Ole Miss took advantage and able to put four runs up. Lyons takes care of Leatherwood. Catch and look up at the board and it's 95. 
And a strikeout. Because it can throw it. Yeah, that speaks volumes. Bouncer, left side. Gonzalez, backhand. And the throw is in time. A bang, bang play. And is that uh, he, I don't, they're not expecting him, really. And there you see that. What you're seeing, folks, is exactly what the umpires are looking well, at. Now, now, the question is whether that front foot hits the bag. It's clearly there before the ball. Yes. Now, ball out to get out of the inning, and now he's got a couple of guys on. To the right side, Baker makes the stab and beats Lions to the bat. We video game numbers in junior college. Yes. And that is a rip and a base hit to left. So Baker continues. And again, he goes the other way. And Gonzalez is now three for three. Said that walk pushed another guy into scoring position, Chatagne. And Dunhurst lifts one to right. Long run by Dickerson. Baseball can be cruel, but it also is rewarding. You hang in there and you get yourself a base knock with an 0-2 count. Nobody out. And that's ripped to left. That's going to be extra bases in the corner. Figueroa will score. Williams will score. And it's a two-run double by John Michael Russ. These two teams last month. Big strikeout there for Kimbrell for the second out as Wright is retired. Here's the 3-2. Fly ball, short left field, long run by Graham, and he slides and makes the catch. I mean, I don't think it would be, it'd be very difficult to top that. And there's Bench. Nice way to start the bottom of the fifth for the Rebels, his first base hit of the afternoon. Justin Bench, certainly one of them. And that one gets away. And so Bench will be at least at second. He's going to dig for third. Here comes the throw. It will be off the mark. And Bench now at third with nobody out. Yeah, that's vintage Mike Bianco, isn't it? And McCants lifts one to right field. It's deep to the track. And making the catch is Dickerson. But it will be deep enough to score Bench. And so a sack fly by McCants. And Harris skies one to right center. Tough hop, bench knocks it down, slings it over to Baker, and he couldn't quite corral it. And Soto will reach. And a big strikeout there. First pitch swinging, Figueroa. Skies one to the left side, and Gonzalez will make the catch. Fair, though. Swing and a miss. They'll throw down to first, and Gonzalez is retired for the first time today. Bouncer stabbed by Barnum. The flip to McKnight, and that'll take care of the Rebels. Traveling great. Ooh. Did he commit? Yes, he did. Strike three. There's a swing and a miss. Myers with back-to-back -back Ks to start the seventh. Pop-up. Chatagne hardly has to move for three. That base hit started that fifth inning. And guess what happened? Ones. You rethink everything. And that wild pitch will send... Bench to third. 341 is what impresses me. <laughs> Big pitch there by Hunt. It was the second, the first out happened. Infield came in. Right to Barnum. The throw to the plate is off the mark, and Bench slides in safely. Awarded that belief in his abilities. I'm able to catch up with that high fastball. No. Harris at the plate. Slaps one to right field. Leatherwood will take third. Get to the college level. Gonzalez puts a charge in this one and forget it. A three-run jack by Gonzalez, his seventh of the season. Fastball inner half. That 
scores a blast. That's a fun run to first base right there. You know it's gone. And Tickerson, the right fielder. That might be a gapper. Off the wall, it's going to be extra bases for right. Winward School there in Santa Monica, California. That one gets past Baker. And that will bring home right. How to look and not be looking. Strike three call. Strike three called. Strike three called and Burton strikes out three in a row. Graham. Just hit. Smash back to Takuman. And his relay is in time. Really has. Here's Justin Bench. Boy, that one's hit hard off the bag at third. And Bench will reach for the third straight time. Tied for fifth in the conference in stolen bases. And that's a pop-up. Figueroa will take care of McCants. Make it two for four. Swing and a miss, strike three, but it gets past Dunhurst. And now on with nobody out. Yeah, and the Tyler Williams will be out because the man was on first base. So he, okay. he, he did run. Oh, he, that's he, right. And a swing and a miss, Forsythe. Strike three, and Forsythe strikes out this side, and the Rebels win it over Little Rock, 9-4.